So I don't know, maybe he has some tricks up his sleeve and he maybe surprises me. We'll have to see. He's a player keeping himself secret for just, you know, their upcoming debut or whatnot at the qualifiers. We'll have to see. Maybe the player's not showing us all their stuff just yet, but we hope they give us the best show here. This is the first time we've had Quake Champions on land at E3 as well. What a better place. Right next to the Bethesda booth. Right in the action. Yeah, there's always been a little bit of secretive kind of nature with, with duelists. I mean, this goes way back to um, people using aliases online so people would know it was them so they can try out strategies and they really didn't want people to know what they were thinking what they're going to pull out come tournament time yeah but uh i don't think they're in that position right now these guys are so good and i know they're hyper competitive they want to win uh so i, I expect them to go you know 100 percent you know they're not going to hold anything back here you see that quite a bit in other games too uh, i know i know some players in like starcraft will play with the like the uh, the barcode name just all dashes so that no one can figure out who exactly they are and things like that just trying to hide to keep everything secret keep their run secret all their strategy secrets so that they can't figure out what they're doing we're not at that point yet here for quake champions but who knows maybe in the future we'll have uh some secrets that people are trying to keep uh, they practice online and whatnot. Well, the players you saw did complete their champion selects, and now they're just loading into the match. And as soon as they've loaded in, they've gotten through the warm. We're we'll ready to begin our second duel of the day. I can't wait for this game to start. I really can't wait. <laughs> these, like I said, these guys, these are the best. These are the best quick players out there. You're seeing, you're seeing amazing skill right now. Absolutely. And plenty more of it here throughout the day. We'll be having opportunities for our crowd to jump into the action along with quite a few sacrifice games still to be played here too. But we are into the fight, so let's go into it. Faz versus Sturmy. And Sturmy starting off really quickly, jumping out of stealth right into his opponent's face here, trying to work with the rockets on the sore lag, but unfortunately, it's not gonna pay off. So Faz falls first, and Sturmy, incredibly aggressive play, but it pays off for him, even on the Knicks. Yeah, that was interesting. It looked like Faz was uh, laying a little ambush for him, and uh, it didn't work out for him. You know, Sturmy came right into him and uh, with, with, with his Nyx ability and got the frag there. It was a good play. Sturmy going to be patiently waiting. He knows Faz is going to want to try to move in for the rocket pickup, but also knows that that respawn is moving in on the Mega Hell, so trying his best to deny it or do some damage, but actually quite a few missed shots right now. Sturmy not looking too good on trying to pick up that damage. Thankfully, not a whole lot was returned to him either, so game but really lost here as now Faz is going to try to leap into the fight and try to take some duels. Yeah if you notice uh, right there the, the heavy armor was up but Sturmy wanted to make sure he had good position and deny Faz from being able to rush in there that's why you saw the rockets and then he jumped off and got that armor. I'm curious to see because the items are kind of spread out right now I'm curious to see who can really get control and push somebody off the other as you see Faz is going to retreat and grab the mega health. So they're really spread out. Who's going to get this next heavy armor? Nice shots from Faz. Now he's going to get a little closer. The problem is to leap right into a rail shot. So that's going to cause him quite a bit of lost health. And cause him to reel away here for a few moments so that he can go recover some of it. Yeah, it looks like Sturmy uh, should be in a good spot right now to push for the mega health and take control of both of the major items, I think, after that encounter. Like I said, he, he just grabbed the heavy armor. Faz is not in the greatest shape right now. So he could definitely push for that other. Oh, great shot. Nicely done from Faz, sneaking back in, doing quite a bit of damage to Sturmy. The problem is he just got returned right onto him. Now he's below 70. Faz hitting some more of it, but in the process, Sturmy was able to recover a little bit more of his HP. The stealth moves in, but it's instantly unpopped in the midair. Rail shot from Faz destroys Sturmy and now takes out his first champion. Amazing. Like I said, you see why these guys are world class. What great shooting that was. Oh, the dual wielding rail now. He's got a lot of firepower to try and use, and I'm sure Sturmy does not want to fight but he has that low of a recovery time. So dual, dual wheel to pop does not really get utilized to the best of its ability, but at the very least at 40 back into a new position here. Yeah, he was definitely in a bad spot. Smart thing, smart thing to back off there for sure. Sermi really being forced to run around the map here as he completely passes on going for the mega health pickup. It's too big of a risk to go up that jump pad based on the location of Faz at the time. So he is going to be crouching over here on the shotgun hall on his route back over to try and go for the pickup but the problem is is if he is he's definitely got the wrong timing about things currently so may just be trying to keep himself alive and quiet so that he can possibly sur surprise against Faz here in a few seconds. Faz in the meantime well he doesn't really need to be quiet at all he's just hopping all sorts of places here as he pushes his opponent into a corner and now is trying to continue taking duels against him here catches him outside but so much damage was done by Faz. Sturmy was looking for some sort of retaliation but there's none that's going to be had when his health is that low. Yeah, Faz is running things really well right now. Uh, Sturmy's, like you said, is, he's in a bad spot. He's got to sneak around, try to get his uh, stack up as best he can. Uh, and he's got to 
essentially avoid a, a straight engagement unless he can get some unanswered damage first before pushing. Well, Fazl's been no stranger just hopping around this map looking to take the fight. I think he's going to be extra eager to do it now that he's got this full kit set up with extra health and extra armor. Moving in, he may be able to find Fazl. Moment. There we go, there's the connection. Faz stuck in a corner and he hops him right into a corner. So there's the second kill now for Faz. Yeah, it looked like Sturmy, uh, I don't know what he was thinking a little bit there. I think he's maybe a little off his game right now. He, he's really concerned, I think, because Faz is running these uh, heavy armors. So he's kind of staying down below, looking for those light armor uh, pickups. And uh, I think Faz is reading that and getting down there. Sturmy not in a good position here right now. The rocket jumps aren't helping him either. And there's just going to be the dual wheel pop on the lightning gun there from the Blasco. It's the close out on round number one. Yeah, just some great play by Faz right there. I mean, what what can you say about Faz in that game? I, first of all, great control, uh, great positioning. Um, yeah, and you can even see how good his prediction was. You know, there's a point there where Sturmy grabbed the armor underneath the light armor. And even though he waited and snuck, you notice that rocket came there and landed right in front of him. It, short, it didn't hit him, but it was just like Faz was that much on top of where yep. he was going. Faz with some really great intuition into how to play, and it really just gave Sturmy no options. Faz with almost complete control of the map for that entire last round. Sturmy's gonna look to change that up as he's looking a tad more aggressive now. So we do leap into the second round, but nice movement from Faz. Just hopping right out of the way of danger there as he tries to avoid the rail shot from Sturmy, and he succeeds pretty well in it. Now is in a good position to try and go for this pickup over here of the full armor kit. So he has full control of both the power-ups right now. He's just gonna have to kind of make a dash back over to the Mega Health if he wants that too. And now, he's just gonna leap into the fight here. His opponent, stealthing away, trying to keep up. Unfortunately, the spikes are a little bit of a menace to play against here, but he does end up connecting on the spit there. And despite the fact that he's low, it's going to send Sturmy back, as Sturmy is not really going to be able to eat a lot of that damage from the spit back to back. So he needs to make sure that he's near health power so that he can recover from it. A bit of a misplay by Faz there. He's lucky he got away with that, actually, the way he rocket jumped into that damage. He's very fortunate he got away with that. So manages to survive off the fact that he forces Sturmy to fall back a little bit. Problem is now he's also given up the full armor kit. Didn't even realize it too. Was on his way to race over to that point and now finds himself completely outmatched and Sturmy with some great positioning. It's almost another 75 damage onto his opponent while at the same time being able to still control the mega health. So we have a little bit of a reversal here. Now Sturmy's the one running these items. They're fairly spread out. He can run them both with, with ease. So Faz is gonna be the one who's gonna have to utilize these light armors and and just try, like I said, you got to get that unanswered damage, you know, to even out those stacks before you push. So we'll, we'll see how he tries to set an ambush here. Sturmy very patiently waiting here, but he does dive in a little bit haphazardly. Hopefully it's a quick decision to try and pass back out. And Faz tries to go and connects his spit again, but just misses his mark a little bit too late. Trying to shoot that back out. And now he takes a big risk here, going up onto the jump pad. It's a free shot for the Sorlag. However, the Knicks, played by Sturmy, is also able to connect a hit there. So both players getting tagged by the rail, but now Faz surprises, jumps downstairs, and forces another stealth pop from Sturmy. He's gonna reappear though, wants to take this fight. He's got Faz so low, but he holds on and survives with just three HP, claiming that first kill of the second round. Wow, just wow, three HP, that was just razor thin. You can see that right there though, you can see how bouncing somebody with the rocket launcher can really make the difference. He, I, I, he, I thought he was dead, but he got that good shot, bounced him in the air, and landed some great uh, follow-up shots. He's still taking this fight too, his health level is not much greater at that point. Only around 25 to 50 HP, but now he's got more of it back, so he can re-engage. Look to take this fight against the newly spawned Ranger, just trying to figure out where exactly he's playing from. Wanted to work with the Rockets there, but now leaping into the fight here, hits his opponent with the spit, has him so low, there's nowhere for Sturmy to run, and Faz is gonna lock down that second frag. Great play there. He knew where, obviously where Sturmy was. Uh, the rocket jump across was really aggressive, but he knew he had the better stack. He had a spit up, as we saw, and uh, good, just good frag right there. It's great play. Oh, now though, Sturmy is found jumping back up so as to eat that rail. Goodbye to a lot of his armor. Thankfully, he's on the scale bearer, so he's got a lot of extra health to play off, but just cannot lose this last champion. And he also needs to frag two of these kills back, or he'll otherwise just lose this from the timer. So we are getting low on it. One minute and a half left to play off of here. And Faz now leaping into action. I think he wants to seal the deal here and close it on that last kill. The movement Faz is impressive, to say the least. But yeah. Don't let uh, don't let Sorlag fool you. Cause even though even though it's a tank, uh, it has a little it has air control. You know, it can move in the air, and because of that, it has the bunny hopping ability, you can generate a lot of speed. Oh my goodness! Round two complete. You 
Well, there we go. Faz just jumping into his opponent, seemingly by accident there, right into his face, and then just demolishes him with a spit in the rockets, giving him no chance at all. So round number two is claimed, and he'll also take control of the map with a Swift 2-0 victory. Yeah, that's actually really...